Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Andre, stop now. Andre! Name, fame, and 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 no more, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rasta Far Right Soldier here of Deep Roots TV. And if this is your first time, hit that red subscribe button. Greetings, greetings, and salutations to all nation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know I'm Rasta Far Right greetings, Soldier here greetings. of Deep Roots TV. Yes, and if season, this is greetings. your first time tuning in, I'm asking you, ladies and gentlemen, to hit that red subscribe button, and we are going to have a great relationship, ladies and gentlemen. Dwayne Wasp Morrison is no more here, a well known stinger in the Nain area of St. Elizabeth in Hollygate Pond, was apprehended by the Jamaican Constable Force, ladies and gentlemen. A struggle ensued, and unfortunately, he met his demise. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first time tuning in here to Deep Roots TV, hit that red subscribe button. It's an unfortunate situation. On Sunday, October 23rd, around 3 p.m., a man was shot and killed by the police in resisting arrest and continuous ignore warning. Residents were quietly helping and trying to get the man to cooperate. The now deceased to Wayne Wasp Morrison was wanted in connection with multiple robberies shooting in Alligator Pond and Nain section of St. Elizabeth. Morrison was reportedly arrested and charged prior in relation to the robbery in St. Elizabeth and he was also wanted for murder of Tyrone Cookus Morgan that took place Thursday, Tuesday, July 12th. Assistant Commander Glenn Ford Miller, head of police in the area 3 district in St. Elizabeth, confirmed this at the time of the incident, although a team of members of Jamaican Constable Force from the Nain police station admitted to not having any particular on the occurrence, reports from the Junction Police state that around 3 p.m. in the evening, on Sunday, a call was made about domestic dispute in the area and the police team was dispatched to assist. Allegedly, the suspect early made threats to kill family members and assault them with an unsanctioned weapon. Videos of the ordeal, ordeal involving the police have been circulating on multiple social media platforms. According to the police report, the incidents left two of the assistant officers with multiple injury. A statement declared both policemen are receiving treatment for multiple injury sustained during the altercation, including broken wrists and several bite wounds inflicted by the now deceased. In the video, two police officers can be seen struggling with the suspect who are wearing who is wearing a red shorts and underpants. But nonetheless, at the start of the video. The camera woman stated, Me want see if I kill them, I go kill him. Yes, yeah, so this seems to be a foreshadowing of the events yet to unfold. A lengthy graphic matched up and between Morrison and the lawman after attempts to make him make the arrest and put him in the vehicle. Assistant Commissioner Miller expounded that officers had to seize protocol regulation because of the ongoing struggle he would have actually been given some warning by the police the police were trying to handcuff him behind him because of the standards procedure and police but because of the resistance he was actually handcuffed in front of him miller mentioned that receiving report of the incident at some point during the struggle one of the police squeezed the suspect neck which onlookers question the response was that they should tell the suspect to stop resisting which they complied and complied with the officers Morrison ignored the warning and continued to fight one of the officers leg then end up between the handcuffs according to the reports he was able to free one of his hand 
And when the police officer was calling out to him and giving him some instruction, telling him to stop, a resistance was hard to apply. The police and shouted out, Andre, here now. That's what the onlookers saying. Lookers ran out and cried, F, here. You won't hear. As the police tried to get him to the car, the suspect himself remarked, P, uno afi, done me. Sok uno, muma. And the officers also stated, if you reach for my weapon, you will get shot. Miller also explained in the procedures trying to disarm the police officer. The police officer would have fired a few shots. He was shot. Report incident under Inspector Professional Standards Oversight Bureau of the JCF as well as the International Communi Commission of Investigation are looking into the matters. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see the disturbing videos showing on the screen here, I personally feel like, you know, a lot of these criminals are overdoing it. This is what we would call, you know, side by police. Now, in the video, I was watching the video and I personally feel like the police could have handcuffed him because there was another handcuff on the ground to the vehicle and waited for backup. This seems like it was he was baited into reaching for the weapon and it's an unfortunate situation. Another mother have to bury them son and another father have to bury them son. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Rasta Farai, soldier here of Deep Roots TV, reporting on the incident that occurred in Nain, St. Elizabeth, in the Halogeta Pond area there of Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, hit that red subscribe button and leave your comment on this one. Let me know if the officers took care of the situation properly or it was an unjust shooting. In the comments, investigating. I'm Rasta Far Right Soldier here of Deep Roots TV. I'm more life and I'm more joy. Yeah, and I'm more in happiness. I and I am and I wish everybody, you know. Not East West South. Acronym for news. Deep Root TV you cannot refuse. I mean I say it's a global TV. I mean I say the people in TV. I mean I say when we say deep, we mean deep, not on top of the surface. We dig deep for the truth and the facts. I will not quote it for the ones that wear jacket and suit. Deep Root TV, you are the truth. I made some. Oh, bless I am. I am. Check him out. Deep Root.